Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we are looking at Zombie Side Second Edition Travel Edition. This is by Cool Mini or Not and Guillotine Games. Uh, one through six players, ages 14 and up, takes about an hour to play. And this is really cool because this is an actual travel edition. So we're going to take a look at this and see what we got in here. The images are pretty much the same all around here it's just a front box cover image so nothing really exciting there on the back we get a little view of what we've got and we do have a components list so inside we've got 79 miniatures six survivors 40 walkers 16 runners 16 fatties one abomination one plastic box slash structure six corner chips six card holders six survivor id cards 130 I'm sorry, 103 mini cards, 63 are equipment cards, 40 zombie cards, 68 plastic tokens, 36 trackers, 9 double-sided game tiles, 1 rules book, and 1 mission book. So let's take a look at what is inside of here. If I can open it without tearing anything. I want to thank my buddy Wyatt for letting me open his games. Now this cardboard box is pretty flimsy, so it's going to get destroyed really quick. Got some little styrofoam bits. Alright, so it's got built-in dice that you can roll on here. That's really cool. It's got that on both sides. One there for one player and one over here for the other player. So if you're buying this used, I would definitely check that out because these are odd-shaped dice and you'd have to replace them if one comes off they're probably all coming off so you need 3d6 and these are like i said weird small strange dice so re actually replacing these with official ones would be really really difficult right, so we've got a piece here it has a little image on here for lock and unlock you just slide it slide it to the right to unlock it and it opens up. So let's take everything out and we'll look at it piece by piece. One of the nice things about the tray itself is that it does have the Zombie Side logo, and then up here it's got the Guillotine Games and then Cool Mini or Not. But not only does it have the dice here to spin, it's also got these little trays you can use for the minis and cards and stuff like that. It's got it on both sides. Plus, since it does kind of lock in place on the other side, this side's blank, but here we've got images of what goes in each section. So you've got the rule books and the cards, and you've got pictures of the minis that would go in there as well, and then you've got the tiles, and up here you've got the little holders, and then the types of cards. So I thought that was a really cool addition. And it really does add to it quite a bit. Now, this does get a little stiff when you're folding it, so you got to be a little bit gentle with it. But otherwise, it's pretty nicely made. I just worry about the hinges quite a bit. That's the only concern I'd really have is the hinges and the dice coming off. The dice you can replace with regular D6s. And there's plenty of small comp or, uh, dice companies that make small dice. So that's not a huge deal. It's just the completionist in me wants them in perfect condition on the board. So you could replace the dice without too much problem, but the board itself is actually very important to the game. So the mini tiles are going to go on here. So let's take a look at those and the rule books first. Okay, so the mini rule book is approximately six and a half inches tall by about three and a quarter long. So it is really small, but it does condense the rules down quite nicely in here, and you get really good examples of everything. It's beautifully done, nice quality paper, all around a really, really good miniature rule book to kind of summarize everything. 
So really neat. I like that quite a bit. And then you've got the mission book, which is laid out the same way, same size. And it's just got a little two-page synopsis of the mission layouts. And I believe there's 25 in here. Twenty-four, my bad. Oh nope, nope, extra page. Twenty-five. Yep. Twenty-five missions. And it tells you everything you need to know. And it's fifty-six pages. So really nice little booklets. I like these quite a bit. Then we've got our character cards. Look at those real quick. So let's slide this thing off. Yeah. Tried tearing it. That didn't work either. All right. First up, we've got Amy. Now, these are the old one style ones. They won't fit in the trays if you try and modify them because uh, it's got the health meter up here. Or the experience meter, rather. It's got the health. You got Doug. And it's got little definitions on the back of their skill sets, which is really cool. Next up, we have Phil. Then Josh. Then we've got Ned. And lastly, Wanda. All right, let's take a look at our tiles. And then we'll look at the minis and then the cards. All right, so here's our tiles. Let's take a look at these before we look at the minis and the cards. All right, so we've got one R. And then on the back we have one V. Next up we have two R. And two V. And we have three R. And 3B. Four R. Four V. Five R. B. Six R. Six V. Seven R. Seven V. Eight R. Eight 
believe me. Nine R. Nine B. The one thing I did notice that I liked about these is that in the darkened rooms, the number is also in a different color, so it doesn't break the ambiance. Thought that was a nice little touch. So that's all the tiles. These are standard good cardstock, really nice and thick. Character cards are a little bit flimsy, but they're no worse than the original zombie side stuff, so I'm not too upset about that. Then we've got these. These are character card holders. You put them on the bottom of your card, and they have little numbers underneath. So they have one, two, three, four, five. So you get little numbers on stuff. These are for your weapon cards. And this area goes underneath the card. So this actually has your equipment attached to the character. It's a nice little idea. I don't know how well these will hold up though over time. So I'd be a little cautious about that. Make sure you have all six of them when you're picking it up used because uh, some of them may go missing or broken. So that's an important component you want to make sure is there. And let's look at some other important components. These here go on the character cards. These are health meters and uh, damage, that sort of thing. So we have two, four, six red ones. And these just slide on the card like the originals did. We have six black ones. And we have a whole bunch of yellow here. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 yellow. They're all basically the exact same mold, they're just different colors. So you've got red, black, and yellow. So these are important as well. The red and black, because there's fewer of them, you'll want to make sure those are all there. You could probably get by with a few less yellow ones. But pretty important to the game. So let's get these out of the way. And take a look at some more stuff here. Baggy does not want to open. Alright, so here we've got our doors and some other stuff. So we've got a red and blue door. Uh, red, blue, and green. There's only one of each of the blue and green. So be aware of that. But for the red ones, we have fifteen of those, fifteen red and one blue and green. Then we have our zombie entrance points, which we have three regular and one that's blue and a black one. So the one with the blue paint, obviously special. You want to definitely make sure these are included if you pick this up used. 
Then we've got six of these. So you'll want to make sure all of these are there as well. So that's the second bag we've got. Oh, there's a green one here too. Uh, red on one side, green on the other. I didn't notice that. My fault. Yeah, so there's two blank ones and then a green and a blue. So let me re-show those. And the black one, don't forget that. So make sure all those are accounted for. Then let's take a look at this bag first. All right, so we've got our police cars here and markers and our exit and our first player token. So we'll look at the exit and the player token real quick. Very, very small. That says exit on both sides. And here are our cars. On one side it says police, on the other side it's got the skull. And this is the right size to hold character minis. Then we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine all red ones for the X's and one red and blue and one red and green. They're blank on the back, but one side has the red and blue markers. So you know they're objective tokens. And then we have some yellow ones, four, six, eight, twelve of those. I'll give you an idea what they look like. They're really small. So you want to make sure those are all there. Next up, we have noise tokens and survivors. These bags are pretty flimsy, so you want to be kind of careful when opening them. All right, we'll take a look at the abomination first because he's in this bag as well. It's actually a pretty good little sculpt for something so small. Then we've got our survivors that are all different colors, which I believe corresponds with their character cards. These are so tiny that it's kind of hard to show them on the camera normally. That's why I'm holding them. So you get, sorry if the camera's not really picking that up too well. So they actually do look like the regular minis, you know, as far as like being able to recognize people. So that's pretty nice. There's Wanda. So you can tell who's who and they're color coordinated. So that helps quite a bit. And of course you could always try and paint these. I think it'd be kind of difficult, but you could. We get a bunch of noise tokens. Let's see how many we've got here. Twenty-four noise tokens, and these just look like little ears. So they have ears with a little lightning bolt. It's the same on both sides. Pretty cool. You could probably get away with not having all of these. Because if you're making that much noise, you're probably going to die. But these are pretty nice, actually. The minis have a lot more detail than I expected. Which, you know, is it's not super detailed, but it's nicer than I thought it would be. So let's look at our zombies. 
We saw the abomination. I believe these are the regular zombies. Yeah, these are the walkers. They're all the same mold as far as I could tell. These minis are really, really small, so. Yeah, we got 40 walkers. We already saw the survivors. There's gonna be 16 runners and 16 fatties. We also saw the abomination already. So the last of the minis are going to be the fatties and the runners. Like I said, these plastic bags are kind of cheap, so. Finding high quality ones is small is probably pretty difficult, so this is probably a cost cutting measure. Alright. So the fatties are fairly large. The runners are pretty noticeable as runners. They have little hooded sweatshirts or something on. Pretty decent quality, actually. Like I said, the minis are small. They're about half an inch, a little over that, three quarters an inch or so tall. So real tiny little things, but it's cool that you can put your survivors on some cars. You can fit two people on there pretty easily. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's take a look at our cards. All right, we'll start with our zombie cards. The card decks are all the same size. So they're about an inch and three quarters high by about an inch wide. So they are really small. It probably be about impossible to sleeve these with any degree of success. So be sure and check for wear and tear on the cards before you pick it up used. Alright, the back of the card is standard zombie side. Look to it. Pretty straightforward. So let's see what we've got here. We've got extra activations. Another one different image. These are numbered too. That's really nice. Another extra activations. Another extra activations. That's two with that walker guy on it with the sandwich board. We've got an abomination. Another abomination. Runners. Runners. Third runners. Fourth one. Fatty Rush. Fatty Rush. This one's different numbers. You'll have that a lot, so you want to make sure if you're missing a specific number that you know which one it is. Fatties. Fatties. Walker Rush. Walker Rush. Times 10 instead of 12. Walker Rush times 9. Walker Rush times 8. And then just regular walkers times 12, and then regular walkers times 10, walkers times 9, walkers times 8, abomination, abomination, runners times 4, 4, 4 I should say, and runners times 4, 3, runners 3, 2, Runners 3, 2, but blue is 0. Fatty Rush. 
Fetty Rush, Fetties, Fetties, Walker Rush, Walker Rush, Walker Rush. Walker Rush, Walkers, 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 and finally card number one is Walkers times six. Alright, so that's the cards. Pretty straightforward. Look a lot like the regular zombie side cards, so not a huge surprise there. Let's get these out of the way and take a look at our other ones. So our other deck. First we have the police car and the pimp mobile. On the other side is the pimp mobile. I mean, these are all equipment cards, so we've got our blue deck, which we'll look at first. Then we'll look at the red and the gray. There's only six gray cards and two, four, six, seven, 11 red cards. The rest are blues and the police pimp mobile thing. So give you an idea of what you got here. So we've got water, water, submachine gun, Another submachine gun, sniper rifle, second sniper rifle, shotgun, another shotgun, sawed off, second sawed off, third sawed off, fourth sawed off, plenty of shells, second plenty of shells, third one plenty of bullets second plenty of bullets third one pistol Maltov another Maltov third Maltov fourth one machete second one Third machete, fourth machete, Kukri? I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't care either. Two, Katana, second Katana, flashlight, second flashlight, Fire Axe, Crowbar. Chainsaw, another chainsaw, canned food, canned food, bag of rice, bag of rice, ag, another one, third one, and a fourth one. And that's the blue deck. Okay, let's take a look at our red deck. We have something I can't pronounce. Don't bother correcting me, I don't care. We've got a nail bat, Maz shotgun, gun blade, golden cookery, golden AK 47, evil twins. Automatic shotgun, 
Army Sniper Rifle. Ag. And lastly, another Ag. All right, let's take a look at our final stack here of gray cards. We've got pistol, another pistol, third pistol, we've got fire axe, crowbar, and finally the baseball bat. All right, that is what is inside the travel version of Zombie Side Second Edition from Cool Mini or Not. One to six players, ages 14 and up, and about an hour long. The rule book and the tiles are really nice. The cards are really nice quality. The character cards are really nice quality. The minis are pretty good. The only thing I'd really be concerned with is the tokens being there if you're picking this up second hand. And the cards are really difficult to hold as a stack. So shuffling those will be a giant pain in the butt. But other than that, I don't see any real problems with it. It's shockingly good quality. I would, of course, be concerned about the hinges on the travel case and the dice. The dice will probably get broken off at some point. So I'd be careful with that if you're doing traveling with this. If you're just keeping this as a display piece... Or using it at home that's one thing but if you've got this on the go I would definitely keep an eye on those dice and the hinges but other than that it's really nice quality I'm impressed so I would absolutely recommend this for any zombie side fan if you're looking to do a lot of traveling or you're going to conventions this is a good thing to take along you can play it by yourself or with other people so that's a really good thing but we've seen what's inside. You've heard my take on it. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, pick yourself something up nice from the Teespring store. Or you can support me monthly on Patreon. Or you can do a one-time donation through Streamlabs via PayPal. Or just share the video around on your social media. That always helps. Regardless, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the next one.